Sir, can you tell us what happened? The incident in brief. Well, it's a very tragic, very reprehensible incident as far as the school is concerned. Uh, some discipline problem took place in the camp. The teacher was very harsh with the child and inflicted physical punishment. The child called up his mother. The mother was so shocked that I think it triggered off a heart attack and the mother died. The moment we came to know, we sent, I met to the parents' house. I sent instructions to one of the other teachers to bring the child back in a taxi so he could be here at this very traumatic time for the family. I waited for the group to come back and next morning I collaborated with the children and they said yes, the beating had taken place and it was a harsh beating and I immediately terminated the services of the teacher. Because the school's take on corporal punishment is very clear. Whenever officially we come to know that a teacher has beaten a child, we take a strict disciplinary action. What was it that triggered the beating as per your information? There is an allegation that money was given by the student to the teacher for safekeeping. And when the child asked for the money, the teacher either forgot or said that he doesn't have the money. Some children say that later on the child said that, uh, I'm sorry, I have taken the money and I've forgotten. But I don't know what exactly is the truth. To my mind, I thought the relevant point is, the strict point is, that the child was beaten up. There is no excuse for a child being beaten. Whether it's a correct accusation, whether it's a false accusation, to my mind there is no reason whatsoever that the teacher should beat up a child. Other students of the school who had gone on the camp were worried that some action could be taken against them also because there no, was no, about an expulsion. What was that? No, no. Do you see what happened was that this child when he was came home to uh, for his mother's death, I thought he should be here for this traumatic experience. Uh, the rumor went around the camp that the child has been expelled. And I think that is what is triggered off the scare. There is no need to be scared at all. No child is ever expelled unless the child himself admits to a very serious misdemeanor. And uh, what misdemeanor can a school child commit? So far as the school is concerned, you took the appropriate action, which was to remove the teacher concern. Yes. Is the school also contemplating any other action in terms of any complaints or anything from your side? Well, uh, we are with the doctor, the father, wholeheartedly. Whatever the father feels, the school will support him. Whatever it is the father's decision, the father's call, whatever further action he wishes to take, the school will be solidly behind him. And so lastly, you have been an educationist for most of your life. You must have kind of thought about it, that your school's policy is absolutely clear. This is a school which has a very high reputation. Why is it that certain teachers are unable to align themselves with the school's policy and sometimes make this kind of a transgression? You see, I think there are two causes, Jyoti. One is that when you look at a group of 150 teachers, right, one has to be tragic as it is that once in a while there will be an aberration. It happens. Second, we are a public school. And more and more of our teachers come to us with no experience for public school whatsoever. And it's a total uphill task now to imbibe the public school ethos. Some teachers are keen to learn and they look around and see what is happening, they ask questions, and they do what is expected of them. Some teachers, probably too set in their minds or too immature, not willing to work, slip up like this. Can you tell us about this teacher? He came to us from a government school, and I must say that he's a good teacher. Subject-wise, he's very good. And so far, I really haven't had any major cause to complain about him. But he is aware, in his being here during his tenure, he has known that beating of a child will not be tolerated. So ultimately, that is it. It's not a question of police record. It's not a question of how many times a teacher has slipped up on others' cause. It is that this is an absolute value which he has violated.